you look behind you, and all most of the chiefs are from Treaty Six are here present today. Uh, for both of you, how does this feel just to be here in this moment? You know, historically, because we've never seen this before. For you, uh, Danielle Smith, and for uh, Grand Chief Cody Thomas, how does that feel for you here today? Well, this is my second meeting with the chiefs, and last year was a lot more rough than this year. Uh, we had a lot more areas, I think, for us to be able... Uh, we're getting to know each other and developing a relationship, and that's one of the things I've always valued about uh, my collaboration with uh, with First Nations, is that it, it's not just a one-off discussion or a one-off um, event. It's going to be a, a partnership that, that continues over many, many years. So I, I think that w with the fact that we established the collaboration just before I came in uh, into the position, and now we've had a, a second meeting, and we're, we're building greater and greater partnerships and friendships off each one. So I, I think that there was an aspiration to do this more frequently. We had so much to talk about and so many uh, opportunities for ministers to, to work with the individual nations that, that we're, we're going to be making sure we do this more than once a year. Yeah, and I believe for us, from our perspective, it's historical. Uh, when we when we talk about water, when we talk about inclusion and honoring our ancestors and the intent of our treaty, this is meaningful dialogue that I, I appreciate the government and, and the chiefs partaking in because we have to contribute. We have to find solutions together. Um, 50, 100 years from now, our next generations that are going to come, we have to set them up to protect our, our, our water sources, our, our Mother Earth. Um, even with the droughts that are coming, we've got to start being proactive together. 